Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you PhoneGap, an HTML5 and JavaScript framework that lets you build cross-platform phone applications really easily. First, I'm going to show creating a simple app in Visual Studio 2010 for Windows Phone. The app will display a picture the user selects and their current GPS coordinates. Then, I'll use the same code in Eclipse to build an Android version. First, I need to install the PhoneGap template. I've already downloaded PhoneGap, so I just need to copy the AppGap Starter zip into the Visual Studio Project Templates folder. Alright, so now I can go ahead and start up Visual Studio. And from the menu on the left, I'm going to select New Project. And then in the Templates list, I'm going to select Gap App Starter. I'll go ahead and name this project PhoneGap Photo. And when I click OK, the project will be created. So the template has given us an index.html file, and this is where most of the UI is going to live. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple buttons here, one to let the user select a photo from their photo library, and another one to let them take a picture. Now I'm just going to add a placeholder for the image they selected, and a placeholder for their current latitude and longitude. And here's what that looks like running in the emulator. I went ahead and did some CSS work to get the layout right, and now I'm going to add a main.js file that will control the functionality for this app. I'm going to set some variables in the onDeviceReady event that fires when the device is loaded up. And now I'm going to add the functionality to let the user select a picture or take one. You'll notice I'm setting the destination type as file URI, and that is so that it's really simple to set the source for that image tag I created in the HTML file. Alright, so now I'm adding the code to read the latitude and longitude, and you notice it only takes a few lines here to get this done. And now I'm going to set up these two buttons to call the function we added in JavaScript, and then add a reference to that main.js file. So here's our app running in the emulator. I'm going to go ahead and select a photo from the photo library, and there we have it, and we can see our GPS coordinates at the bottom. If I take a photo, we can also see that the photo is there. Now one of the cool things about the Windows Phone emulator is it lets you change your GPS location on a map. So I'm going to go ahead and set myself to be in Cincinnati, and if I reload the app because we were calling the GPS on load, we can see that the new coordinates are there. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and run this right on my device. So I'm going to switch Visual Studio to deploy to a Windows Phone device, hit run, and my phone's plugged in so I see it load right up. And now let's take a picture, just to make sure this is working on the phone. I'll point it at my whiteboard here, where you can see a drawing of a sun. Hit accept. And after resuming, we have the picture inside the app. Now I've gone ahead and set up Eclipse and started a PhoneGap project for Android. The cool thing about this is now all I have to do is grab those same HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files I created for my Windows Phone project and copy them into the Android project, and you can see here's the index.html file, and I can go ahead and run this now, and deploy it out to an Android phone, and everything works exactly the same as it did on the Windows phone. It's great. Alright, so that's going ahead and starting up now, and it's on the phone, so I will go ahead and I'll open a picture this time. So there's a picture of my desk, and you can see the GPS coordinates. Alright, so for more information about PhoneGap, go to PhoneGap.com slash get started. And for more information on building cross-platform applications with Windows Phone, go to WindowsPhone.interruptbridges.com.